Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Woki, and I'm back with another Dragalia Lost video. Today, we're going to be going over the new units that just got announced with the Gala Dragalia, as well as looking at the units that are going to be getting a Mana Spiral, including the details of one of them, which is Summer Veronica. So that's going to be today's video. I hope you like it. If you do, you can leave a like, comment, subscribe. It really helps out the channel, anything you can do. And now let's get into it. Now let's start, I guess, spoilers for the story. Gala Mascula has uh, made it into the game. Um, yeah, he has a new body. If you've been catching up with the story, this was even pretty obvious that it was coming. Um, so yeah, let's see what he does. Let's see. Let's start with what he is. He is a water. I'm very glad that both of these are water, by the way. Well, except for Cerise, because I'm pretty sure there already exists a water Cerise, which is Monster Hunter Cerise, which is never coming back, so a lot of players aren't going to have her. But for someone like me who has both, you're now making me choose between them, which isn't cool, which isn't fun. Um, but Water did definitely need more buffs. And this <laughs> this Cerise actually has a chance of being caught by most players, so it is what it is on that case. So let's go into what he does. Uh, water Blade, not a lot of units with this specific, as you can see from the most recent um, trial. Not a lot of Water Blade units in the game. Um, even fewer five stars. Uh, the best one probably is the Halloween uh, Bacon Priestess, uh, just because she isn't affected by Nihility. All her damage just comes from attacking, basically. But anyway, let's, let's go into what he does. Skills Code 03 Rise Generator grants the user a shield that's immune to knockback. If the user uses, if a, if the user has Master Control, a more powerful version of the skill called Code 08 Execution will be used instead. In addition to this skill's base effect, Code 08 Execution also grants the user the Amplified Current effect. During Amplified Current, the user's standard attacks are buffed and hits more times per attack. Skill Energy Required, 3840. Knockback Immunity, last 15 seconds. Shield Charges 1, Potency 30% of Max HP. After Skill Change, same Skill Energy Required. Knockback is the same, the Shield stays the same, and the Amplified Current lasts 11 seconds and does not stack. Okay. Code 36, Coolant Cycle, and this is shareable, uh, cost 6, grants the user Master Control. If the user has Master Control, a more powerful version of this skill called Code 06 Conclusion will be used instead. Code 06 Conclusion deals damage to the surrounding enemies and dispels one buff from each target. Um, skill Energy Required, 5570, a special effect, Master Control, last 26 seconds. After skill change, his damage is 489 over 6 hits. Skill energy required is 2,830. When it's a shared skill, it is 16,000... Wow, boy. I guess you just start with this one. It's 16,668 and dispels buff. I'm pretty sure that's how you say that. Strength culpability is strength, 10%. Chain culpability is water combo equals buff skill time, 15%. Abilities... Accelerator Unit 2, using Masculus initial skill displayed at the top of the skill list, grants him a strength amp with a maximum team amp level of 3. After the amp is granted, this ability will not grant it again for 20 seconds. Why are you doing this? Master Control grants the second skill, grants Masculus falling effects. His standard attacks are buffed and deals additional de uh, blows to multiple nearby targets. The fourth attack in this standard attack combo dispels one enemy buff. His attack rate is increased by 6%. When the combo count is 30 or higher, his strength is increased by 10%. His critical rate by 8%, and 8% is added to the modifier of crit damage. When Master Control is lost, the skill gauge for Masculus' second skill will be filled by 50%. Also, Master Control will be lost upon shapeshift. Mmm. Damn, lost upon shapeshifting. That already makes me feel like he's a better as a second unit. And yeah, not being a, yeah, the, mm, that one part made me not like him. <laughs> he seemed pretty cool up until that point. I don't know. Oh, let me continue. Uh, Mana Reactor 2 reduces susceptibility to burning and stun by 100%, and Critical Frenzy 2 increases the critical rate by 4% for every 15 hit combo up to 3 hits per combo and adds 4% of the modifier applied to critical damage each time one of the user's attacks is a critical hit up to 10 times per combo. After activating this crit damage increase will not activate again for 1 second. This buff, These buffs are removed when the combo counter resets. So he really cares about keeping that combo. 
Um, obviously, I think he has special animations that just make sense for um, any unit um, with, this, with these kind of details. Uh, I think he looks pretty cool. Um, as a personal thing, I never like units that lose their buff when they shapeshift. So, actually I can't think of many that do that. Yeah, I can't. I guess he would be kind of broken in that case, but... He does gain at least 50% of it back, but I don't know, that still seems kind of... Not as fun. They should have just let you keep it, but none of the, uh, the buffs work or something. Or maybe they couldn't figure it out. I don't know. He seems perfectly good, though. Uh, this is, there, it's not a very crowded genre, and there's not, it's not, honestly, it's not, water isn't a great place that it can use any unit it can, um, so I'm sure he'll do perfectly fine on the team, uh, and I'm also pretty sure he's gonna be nihility proof, just because, what's the point of them releasing new units if they're not nihility proof, like, what the hell is wrong with them? So I'm just going with the assumption that everything he does is gonna be proof, uh, nihility proof. But we'll see when he actually gets released. Maybe I'm dead wrong, in which case, screw me, I guess. Let's look at Sharpshooter Cerise. I'm taking aim of a brighter future for everyone's sake. She was the shooter on the grassy knoll, as you can see here in her awesome getup. I love the look of this so much. I'm so pumped. I was not expecting a gala banner. I was expecting a her and the other dude banner, but I will gladly take a her banner. Progress Blaster, especially because it's Galabanner. I have better luck on Galabanners. Progress Blaster deals damage to enemies directly ahead, inflicts Frostbite, and if the skill hits enemies 25 or more times during the same combo, fills the skill gauge for Sylvian Aim by 25%. Damage 32 over 25 hits. Uh, wow. Uh, skill Energy is 4,205. No, 215. Special Fix Frostbite, uh, Skill Prep, Potency, 25%. Sylvian Aim, Shareable 4, deals damage to the target and nearby enemies and activating one of the following effects at random. Reduces the strength of the enemy hit by the attack. Reduces the defense of the enemy hit by this attack. Restores the user's HP. Okay. Damage, uh, 330. 330. 331 hit, 149 over 4 hits. Cover Potency, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Skill energy requires 6,520, 8,260 uh, when it is a shared skill. Special effects, strength minus 20%, lasts 15 seconds. Defense minus 7%, lasts 12 seconds, does not stack. Okay. Gauge accelerator 20% is a co-ability. Our chain co-op ability is water combo equals energy level uh, 6. If the team is attuned to water, increase their energy level by one stage for every 20, uh, 20 hit combo. That really sucks for nihility because none of that activates, I think. Debuff skill time plus 20%. Okay, there you go. Because I was wondering, like, that debuff stuff sounds like it really sucks, but <laughs> with this, it should be a little bit better. Increase the duration of bleeding and debuff skills that reduce strength and defense by 20%. Stun resistance 100%. Lost recover, lost recovery. Yeah, lo last recovery. Grants an HP regen buff of 20 seconds when HP drops to 30 once per quest. Okay, so what do I think about her? I think she's cute, and I'm summoning. All right, done here. Um, <laughs> in terms of this skill, the only thing I'm cautious about is the random nature, because what's gonna happen? when i guess in theory you're going to be doing this skill so much that you'll just be able to apply it yeah deals damage to the enemy target enemy and activates one of the following effects at random i forget would this stack usually they mention if something doesn't stack right so i assume that every single one of these things would stack i guess we'll find out pretty soon i'm definitely going to be summoning for her she sounds okay she sounds pretty good to me like obviously i think i'm missing something i whenever it comes to a unit i never think i'm right i think i'm missing something so i think it's likely that i'm missing something here with Cerise that i'm not saying if you can see if you can enlighten me about how good you think she is please tell me just know for a fact 100 percent Still summoning. <laughs> I love this look so much. It's unbelievable how good they done it. And I have every Cerise too. I have Gala, Hunter, and now I'll gladly take Sharpshooter. If I can get her. But yeah, let's move on to the Mana Spiral, which is coming for Summer Verica. I called her Veronica in the beginning because Veronica and Verica are 
basically the same goddamn name. Everlasting Summer, a shareable 6, restores HP to all allies, removes blindness, and continuously uh, gradually heals over time. Also increases the entire team's strength and grants all teammates a shield and grants them over damage. I'm pretty sure the over damage is new. Uh, potency 50% and last 30 seconds. Not bad. I was specifically just reading the over damage. The rest is, I think, basically the same. Strength 8%, shield 30% max HP, HP regen last 15 seconds. Moment of Passion grants all allies a buff that restores HP relative to the amount of damage they inflict and grants the users a strength amp. After this amp is granted, this skill is not granted again for 30 seconds. Why do you do that? The skill gauge for this skill can be filled by attacking enemies, but when the skill gauge for Everlasting Summer is not at 100%, the skill gauge will gradually fill automatically. This fills automatically. Okay, that's new. No. The HP drain is nice. I don't know how I feel about that, but... Recover potency. I just am not a fan of the, this way of doing strength amp. Why are you holding back strength amp? It is not that good. I don't know who the hell at Jigalia thinks this strength amp is gonna break, break the freaking game, but you need to let off the goddamn chain, my man. It is not as good as you think it is. It is a pretty okay mechanic that only works in Nihility, and you are actively making it hard to use in Nihility, so what the fuck was the point of it? Continuing on. That's my basic feelings on Strength Amp at the moment. Recover Potency 20%, Shadow HP 60% equals Strength 6%. Abilities, Beach Beauty fills 100% of the skill gauge at the start of the quest, and when HP is full, increases strength by 15%, and potency of recovery skills by 25%. Very nice, very nice. Um, which is actually going to be super easy for her to do, because she has Life Steal, and she has a whole bunch of other stuff on her, that will, and a shield. Um, I'm not sure if that shield's going to be Nihility Proof, now that I think about it. I assume yes, otherwise why give it to her after buffing her, but whatever. Potent Blindness Resistance 100% and Recover Potency 15%. Uh, seems pretty solid. I was always a fan of this Summer Verica. I love the Summer Verica. Now that Grace is dead, I am now going to be main. I was already using mainly Summer Verica, and now she's just going to stay the unit I use. They just made her better for me now. Um, which is nice. The one nice thing about Grace being dead, and I hope they never mana spiral Grace because they really don't need to, is that it gives finally... Finally, there's a reason to use other shadow healers after not having a reason to use one for over a year. It feels nice. I know some people are annoyed that she's basically been, Grace has basically been killed, but at the same time, man, like, it finally gives me a reason to use these. I don't know. That's how I feel about it. That's how I feel about it. I love for Summer Verica. I'll gladly use her, and I'll gladly deal with more Trials of the Mighty. So let me quickly just go over this real quick. Um, this is going to be the Summer Verica um, fight, which is actually a, an Onslaught event from what it looks like. Yeah. Not expected, but sure, whatever. This should be pretty easy. Because it uses Light Bow. It uses Light Bow, Wand, and Staff. Actually, I take that back. Who is a good bow unit from... Shit. Want, uh, uh, we'll see when this one releases, because now that I think about it, I don't know if I have a single bow one. Bow or one. No, I do. It's uh, Galazen. No, she's not one. She's staff. I don't know. I'll do, this, that's a problem for future Wookie, but that's what this specific um, Trial of the Mighty is going to be. The next one is Agni, which is him... This one is the one for Galaxy. That's right, Galaxy is getting a Mana Spiral. Should have been Galaxeris, that's my only feeling about it. The element is water, and you can use Lance, Bow, Mana Caster, and Staff. That's right, you can use four, because they finally realized that Mana Caster does not actually count if there's only three goddamn units on the stupid Mana Caster element that they can't keep, they can't in good faith actually use it as one of the um, classes. So it seems like... They went back to Kamoi for specifically, because now Kamoi is Lance, Bow, Manicaster, Staff, which is nice. And then also there's Jean the Arc, which... Jean the Arc. Jean the Arc, um, which this is going to be the uh, Spiral for Gala Luca, which I hope is really good, because I, I, I just want them to Spiral a light unit that's going to make Tartarus... 
a bitch end statement like i'm tired of tartarus as shit already like i really don't like tartarus is the number one reason you want to know why light is in such a bad place it's because tartarus sucks ass to grind so no one wants to ever grind for light unit weapons and that's why light is in such a bad place is because tartarus is such a terrible fight to grind that nobody wants to do it and the people who can do it they don't care because they already had the ability to grind it but for everyone else Mm -mm. And I speak for the very casual people because I am in a lot of ways casual in Dragalia when it comes to being lazy. And the number one thing that stops me from ever grinding up light units is Tartarus. Like, they need to fix Tartarus completely. They need to replace Tartarus with a good fight. But anyway, for this fight specifically, you can use Shadow, Blade, Bow, Mana Caster, and Staff. And Kamoi, they added Mana Caster, and they added, man they added Bow, so that makes it much easier. You can use Hawk and some other dudes. And for Thor, no change. Sword, Wand, Staff. This is still, I would say now, the second hardest um, trial in the game. The first being fucking um, Mars with his nonsense. But it's kind of nice now that they're giving us the schedule. Because this one goes all the way, I think, for this month, maybe? It goes until 629. So basically a month or so. Um... It's good, so now you can really plan out your config, your dailies now much better. You now that you know what's coming up ahead or something. Uh, very smart thing to do. They actually are listening a little bit on stuff. They're not listening in terms of giving us regular mana spirals back, but at least they are listening to some feedback that people are giving, which is nice. I think I saw there was one person who was saying like, "Hey man, Trials has only been here for a month," and you're right, it, it has only been here for a month. Still want it to be improved. They would love it to be improved, I'm sure. So that's why we got to work together to improve the game. Because if the game is good, the devs are happy, we're happy, everyone's happy. It's all kumbayas and happy good times from there. So that's the end of today's video, everyone. I hope you liked it. I'll see you guys for the summoning. Hopefully it goes well. And until next time, you guys have a good day. Peace out. See you in the next adventure.